So basically, I'm right inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and as you can see, I've already imported my video. Uh, it's just like um, the BTS of um, a podcast. So they want to upload this to TikTok, and they also want to upload it to Instagram and YouTube Short. So I need to actually convert this landscape video into uh, a portrait size um, video. So today I'll be talking about a particular feature present inside Adobe Premiere Pro that you can easily use to convert your landscape videos into a portrait size video or what you commonly call uh, the real size or the YouTube short um, format. So with this feature inside Adobe Premiere Pro, if you already shot your video or edited all your videos in landscape and you want to upload your video to probably TikTok, um, YouTube short or you want to upload it to Instagram, then you have to convert your landscape videos into to portrait size videos for the best viewing experience as we all know we all use our phones on all the social media platform and while using our phone this is how we use our phone so if you are wondering what is portrait size video what is landscape size video so if you are filming with your phone and you have your phone like this that means you are filming in landscape mode and if you have your phone like this and you're filming like this that means you are filming in portrait mode so we all know when we are browsing through most of this our social media platform the best viewing is when you have your video in portrait size. So without wasting much time, let's check this amazing feature inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm definitely going to go to new sequence from clip. That's definitely going to create a new sequence for me with the selected clip. So here we have the sequence and here we have the original video in which we import into our Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm going to select my clip and I'll go to where we have our clip and I'm going to click on um, scene edit detection. This is definitely going to give us this pop-up box. Either you apply a cut at each detected cut point or you create a bin of subclips from each detected cut point. The option you need is to check on this apply a cut at each detected cut point then you click on analyze. This is going to use AI to analyze your clip and strategically place cuts where you actually really did cuts when you are editing the um, original video. This is not 100% perfect, but definitely it's going to do a very, very good job. As you can see, it has finished analyzing our clip. And as you can see, we have a lot of cuts in the video. If you take a look at all the clips, you will notice that the AI, or let me say the analysis, tried to cut all the clips where we have um, different clips inside the video. What do I mean by where we have different clips? Where we have different um, pictures, different framing, different subjects in the video. So the next thing you're going to do is you come to where you have your media bin and you try to locate the sequence. As you can see, this is the sequence and this is the original clip that we had. You're going to right click and you're going to go to where you have auto reframe sequence. Then on this dialog box, all you have to do is change the target aspect ratio to 9 by 16. The landscape video format is the horizontal which is the 16 by 9 so this is what we'll be selecting then under the motion tracking just leave it at default i prefer to use default than using the slow or whatever options we have there you can also try the other options and see the results yourself so the next thing is under the clip nesting i always ensure i don't nest my clips and then I click on the create button. So as you can see, we now have a 9 by 16 um, resolution right on our preview um, monitor here. And if you try to scroll through all your videos, you will notice the AI or Adobe Premiere Pro has actually done a very, very nice job by actually converting this to 9 by 16 and also trying to frame all our subject perfectly. But this is not 100% accurate because this is AI, this is computer. They're only trying to simulate the human brain. So what you have to do is you have to go through individual clips and make sure everything is perfectly framed. For example, this behind the scene text is not perfectly framed. So I will have to fix this manually. This is the layer where we have our behind the scenes in which I want to adjust the position. So I'm definitely going to disable the auto frame effects and I'm going to my motions. I will adjust the X axis and probably adjust the scaling. So try to do this manually and I also confirm all other clips to ensure everything is in frame. This is not in frame as I'm only seeing the hand and I would love to see the face. So what am I going to do? I'll come back to my effect controls. I'll disable the auto reframe. Then I'm going to my motion controls. I will adjust the X position and try to fit the particular subject 
and firm. So this feature inside Adobe Premiere Pro is very, very, very helpful, especially if you don't want to go through the stress of editing your old video in, in portrait mode, which is nine by 16. So when you're done, you go to the export and you export your video and you're ready to upload to any social media platform. So I would say if it's just because of this feature we have inside Adobe Premiere Pro and if you are someone who shoots your video in landscape and you probably post them on Instagram or TikTok or as YouTube short, I will advise you to start considering using Adobe Premiere Pro as your editing software. So thank you. If you love this video, do not forget to hit the like button and let's grow this community together by subscribing to the channel. So we'll meet next time.